Several tri-state families cannot go home tonight. Their homes are above a Norwood business that was raided. And weeks later, those families, they just want to get back in to get some of their belongings. Nine on your sides, Roseanne Aragon is live in Norwood right now with why they've been shut out for so long. Roseanne, what's going on? That's right, Craig. The county ordered Norwood police to shut down the Sherman Market and the living spaces above it. Now, when that happened a week later and today, we kept up with the family to see how it's being handled. And they say even though they've recently found a place to live, they still haven't gotten their things. The simple fact is if this could happen to us, this could happen to anybody. It really could. And it's a scary situation. For almost a month, Paul Johnson has been trying to make sure his family survives. His three-year-old daughter, wife, and Doug have been living in and out of their car, friends' homes, and exhausting other options. Financially, we're drained because of the hotels and the gas and everything. July 24th, the Hamilton County prosecutor announced the closing of Sherman Market in Norwood, calling it a nuisance location, citing more than 200 runs to that specific address. That meant that the 16 residents living upstairs also had to leave. It's heartbreaking that the city I live in can legally just throw people out of their houses and lock them up so they can't get back in. So I asked the prosecutor's office, what can these residents do? And they tell me they've been in contact with Nord police who promise that these residents can move their stuff out if they make an appointment in advance. But Johnson says it's easier said than done. Norwood police keeps telling us that it's not moving day. Tenant lawyer Noel Morgan took up Johnson's case. They've been evicted forcibly for things they had nothing to do with. In court Monday, the judge ruled that residents do not have the right to make their case in court, only the property owner. Morgan says while it seems wrong, the judge ruled it's legal. These residents will have to wait. There should be some kind of law put in place so this does not happen to any other families. Now, I spoke with Norwood police, and they say there may have been some communication issues, but they never intended to keep these residents outside of their homes. In fact, they say that they've let residents in to get the small things, but as far as a full-on move out, you're going to have to make an appointment for that. I spoke with Lieutenant Ron Murphy, and he told me to give residents in this situation his number, and that's 513-458-4545. Reporting live in Norwood, I'm Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.